Hello and welcome back to V8 TechWork. So today we are going to continue building our application right here. And uh, now the other thing that I wanted to cover in this tutorial is how we can be able to add new donors here where we can add the name the and the other information and when you click on click here it will be able to show you like a toast and telling you that you have added that donor in the database. Also the other thing that I wanted to do in this a video is that when you come here to approve you can be able to approve the donor and then it will be redirected to the donors here if you approve that prospect to be a donor so what we are going to do right now is um, first of all let's make sure that we push our code to our github so if you check here and uh, let me clear for this uh, here in the terminal because you can see here in the terminal we are in the project that you are building right now so i'm going to use git branch first of all and if i do that you can see right now we are in this branch that is called integration so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the other files that i added from the previous video and then i'm going to commit so let me commit here so added uh or started integration let me just add here started integration as my comment like that and then i'm going to push my code now so push origin git push origin and then this one is uh, integration like that and then i'm going to now be able to add my passphrase like that and then i'm going to push now the code so you can see it here and uh, the other thing is we can visit now the github that i'm pushing that code this is my personal github so let it load and uh here you'll be able to see in the repository here let's check for the this full stack blood donation application here so if i do that let's see you will be able to see the notification here for pull request you can see integration had uh, had recent pushes 28 seconds ago so i'm going to compare and pull request right here and uh, also i'm going to create a pull request here and after that now i think uh, now it's checking for ability to merge automatically and after that now i can merge pull request and confirm merge and uh, i think for that now it's okay now so i'm going to leave it like that and then now we want to integrate with the uh, or how to make sure we can be able to add the information right here so i'm going to cross the other pages for example the prospect and also for the donor right here and i'm going to open the new donors page here and then you are going to collect the information from this form here and then push it to our git uh, to our backend that is or and save them in the database so before i continue remember to subscribe to this youtube channel and also like this video and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time i upload a new video so what we are going to do now is that i'm going to create a, a variable here or a function sorry and this function here will help me to uh, to collect the information in this uh, inputs here for example the input for the name the input for the address and then the input for the rest of the information so we are going to add here handle change yeah so we are going to have this function and uh, this is a narrow function here and this arrow function here let me first of all make sure that i have an object where i'm going to have my uh, where i'm going to have my data so here i'm going to have a state so this state will have going to have inputs or you can call it input data here we are going to have set inputs and this one is just object uh, object that has uh, data so we are going to have use state and uh, for this use state i'm going to use object here after that now what we are going to do is that we have inputs and then set inputs we are for the handle change here i'm going to now make sure that i can use this handle change here to collect the information from the input so here what i'm going to do is to accept the uh, the event right there and then the other thing is uh, we need i'm going to now set inputs 
and here I want to make sure that I uh, first of all take the previous information and then using that previous information I'm going to now this is uh, like an, a function so using the previous information I'm going now to return here the uh, the previous information so I'm going to spread the previous information and then after that this one should be three dots here for spread and after that now I'm going to add now the current information so using the current information here we are going to take first of all the name so I'm going to use e.target.name and also I'm going to use e.target and then yeah, dot value so dot value like that so that means that we can use this uh, this handle change here and maybe for every input we can use the handle change because when you are adding like for example the information here in the input for the name then it will save in the inputs here and when you are trying to also add the input uh, the the information for the address that means now this function will take the previous information which you corrected from the, from the name and then now add the information for the address here and it will be in form of name and uh, the value so here the other thing is you need to do is uh, because i'm using the name here i'm going also to add the name yeah, and then for this name you need to match this with the uh, the name that you have for your uh, the name that you have in your database so for example for this one here this will be name because on uh, I'm calling the name here in the database just name it's not a full name or anything the other thing that now you, I can be able to do here is to add the value so the value here we are going to have the value as the inputs uh, so the inputs dot name or I can have it as a just a empty data or just empty string so in here now I'm going to use now uh, on change here and this is where now we are going we are not going to uh, we are going to use this handle change like that so that means that i can be able to use this handle change in every input the only thing that i'm going to change is just the name here and the value so i'm going to copy this like that and then paste it here in my address so this one will be address yeah address i'm going to change this to be inputs dot address yeah I'm going this one handle change I'm not going to change that so for the phone number here the same I'm going to add the name here is uh, tell so because this is for the phone number I'm going to change this one to be tell and also I um, can be able to add the information also here for the select so now for the select here it will be a bit different so for the tell then for the select that is it will be a bit different and we are going to add in the select here so i'm going to come up here for the example you can see we have where well, we have this um a class name and i'm going to paste this one here for this one i'm going to add the name here to be blood group so blood group also for this one this will be blood group here blood uh, blood group like that and also this one will be handle change like that i don't there's nothing uh, else that you need to do there so for the email the same here we are going to change this one here and uh, for the name here will be just email and uh, this also should be the name the email sorry and then after that we can have uh also for the weight here as simple as that here we are going to have the this one as weight weight uh, we are going to add here the value should be weight so let me add as weight like that and then we are going to come here to the date and for the date here also i'm going to change this to be the name here should be the date 
yeah this one should be the date also and uh, this is hand to change so for the tell here this is for the information for phone number so i'm going to add the tell there so here also the tell and also for this one now this uh, we have the text area here for the text area here we are going to have um, the diseases so diseases like that and also this one will be diseases so diseases like that so also for this uh, button here i need to create a function so this will be very simple so on change so on change like that we can add the function here for example i can say handle donors like that and then i can be able to use that information here to create that function so i can come up here to add on here after now the handle change and i can create another function that is handle uh, let's say handle donors like that and inside this function it is just a narrow function the first thing that i need to do here is uh, i can be able to try catch first of all i'm going to use a sync here like that and uh, i want first of all here in try catch i need to first of all to check if there's inputs so if they is there there are any data in the inputs uh, object then i can continue so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create here now the uh, the information i'm going to await here and then use public request so the endpoint called the endpoint so for this case i think i'm going to import it uh, here so like that from now my uh, my file which is request methods here i'm going to import the public request so this is public request and then after this one i can have public request here and then this one will be post like that and then here i can be able to specify it is slash donors slash donors and then i'm going to now add the inputs here so that data which would be as an object so after that now i want to have a I want to clear now the inputs and to clear the input it will be just uh, set inputs and then make sure that the inputs are, are just um, empty so this will be adding here an empty an empty inputs so for the cons for the data here for the error so i'm going to con just console log error so now after this what we can do is let me format my code here so what i can do is that i'm going to i want to use something that is called toast so i'm going to open here and uh, search for toast so toast uh, here for let's look for the toastify actually this is a library that will help you to create the toast so if i do that you'll be able to see how toast looks like here so you can see how they are and you can customize them so i'm going to use this uh, command here to install toastify so that means i need to open my terminal and make sure that i install the toastify so i'm going to click that and in here i can be able to come to the front end here i'm going to let me make sure that i can be able to paste this command here in my front end and then click enter so this one will be just the toastify i installed the toastify here and now we can read more about toastify in the documentation here so if i scroll down here you'll be able to see how uh, how to be able to use toastifies first of all you need to install the toastify here you need to import it and you need to import this to the toast container and toast and also this one that is react toastify css so i'm going to copy this and then the other thing is i'm going to paste these two lines of code here 
and then if we check here in the documentation you can see you need to add the toastify here in the return part so i'm going to do that so i'm going to come here after the button so let's check for the button here after here we can add the toast uh, toast container like that and then after that we you can use now toast here where you want to use the toast here where you want to use it so in my case i'm going to use here from the toast here i'm going to after now it is successful i'm going and all the actually i, I need to add it here when um it is successful i'm going to call toast here dot success because this one will be for success this one we're going to show our various data for example here i'm going to show donna has been has been successfully successfully added to the database to the database like that and you can see it's a uh, very simple but if we have also like the error here you also you can call toastify for example so you you can see how easy it will be so this one will be warning or danger and then here i can say something uh, maybe something like i can pass in the error so or error dot message something of the sort you can be able to show the error here so i'm going to save that and now i'm going to try and uh, add another donor in the database so i'm going to add here john doe or maybe let me add here log mondara like that i'm going to add the address here as one two three downtown and uh, this one is uh, maybe something like michigan i think so uh yeah i can add the phone number i want to add the phone number here like that and then let me add here the data here so for example this one and uh, you can see here for the tail i can be able to add the letter and i don't want to do that and you can see the same here i repeated the tail so i'm going to or the phone number i'm going to change that so for here i need to change this to be number so let me change that to be a number also for the weight let me check if it's a number so yeah you can see this is a number and also here i want to remove this because this is a repetition so for the inputs here i'm going to change to save that and uh, here you can be able to see now we can add the uh, let me just add the uh, phone number here which is uh, 608 actually i don't see why i don't don't i'm not getting this, the space but still okay so i'm going to select the blood group here i'm going to add the b positive and uh, here i'm going to use a log mondala and then 199 at gmail.com like that and then here i'm going to add the weight to be 50 i'm going to make sure that i add the date to be today's date and here i can say none like that so if i click here create you'll be able to see that there's no data that is being shown so I, I don't know why so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to open the inspect here and uh, i can be able to see in this part here for the console log there is a uh, you know, like this um the specified value this one here cannot be passed or is out of range so i think uh, i have this error here so if i click again you cannot be able to see it so let me just uh, make sure that i reload here and then try and add the data again so a lock i'm going to add here one two three downtown so downtown downtown and then here i'm going to add any information like that i'm going to select the 
here the blood group i'm going to add the email here like that 199 at gmail.com and then i'm going to add here 60 kgs the date here so let me just scroll or push this sideway and then here i can add that one this one will be none and when i click on this part here you can see that we don't have like uh, we are not able to see anything so that means that the data is not uh, pushed to the database i i don't know why so what i'm going to do is that i'm going first of all to make sure that i remove this checking of the inputs first of all and also this part here so let me do that and also i want to console log the input so that we see if the information is being corrected from our inputs so like that and then if i save that come back here and click again so i cannot be able to see anything here so i think uh, maybe this is the we have the problem here so this is handle donor new donor and then this is new donor here so i don't know what is happening so this is uh, loading uh, when it is already loaded i don't know um let me just check so the problem is that here in the button i added the event to be on change rather than on click so this is a stupid mistake and uh, then if i come back here now to the application and click create here you'll be able to see this toast here donor has been created successfully you can see here the data that you are console and uh, the data that we are consoling yeah we are logging here so i'm going to just come here and uh, we make sure that i remove this console log inputs and also for this one here like that and then we can continue now so the other thing is uh, let me first of all check if the donor has been added in my donors page here so let me do that and you can see yeah a lock has been added here so if i click on edit you'll be able to see that a lock has been added here so the other thing that i want to do is uh, to make sure that i approve the prospect so if i click here and go to the prospect so i'm going to make sure that i go to the prospect here like that and then here we can be able to approve this prospect so the first thing that i want to do here is uh, let me import from react router dom i'm going to import use uh, navigate so we are going to import use navigate here and i can be able to get now here navigate and then this navigate here is from use navigate so like that and uh, call that function here and then here i can be able to format my code and then this one i'm going to push it down then here i'm i'm going to make sure that i create another function here that is called approve let me call it approve prospect prospect like that and this is a narrow function like that so here i'm going to add that event for that function in the button here so i'm going to add on click so on click like that and then here it's approve prospect like that and then let me scroll up here and then i can be able now to use uh, the information i can be able to use now that button to be able to approve the prospect so the first thing that i want here is uh, let me add a sync here so to approve the prospect when you click that button first of all it is going to save the data to the to the donor so i'm going to try catch here to the donors as a donor so to do that you are going to first of all make a request to my database so here i'm going to add public request and then i'm going to post now to the donor so this one from the donors here like that and then after that i can be able to add this now the data here 
So the first thing that I'm going to add here is the name. And the name now, remember we are we had the prospect all right from here. So I'm going to add prospect. So prospect name. Prospect dot name because already in this page we had already fetched the prospect using their ID here. So after that, also for the other for the example for the address, also we are going to do the prospect and then dot address. We are going to also add others. For example, for the uh, for the email, I'm going to add the prospect prospect dot email email here, and also I'm going to have. So let me just come here for the email uh, for the other information like the phone number here. The same we are going to get it from prospect prospect and then we are going to add here the prospect and then the tell which is the phone number i'm going to add now the blood group so the blood group and this one will be from prospect dot blood group dot blood group i'm going to have also the other for the diseases for the diseases like that i'm going to have uh, let me add here for the diseases, uh, diseases, diseases like that, I'm going to have uh, to get it from prospect, prospect dot diseases like that, and then also for the other date, for example, also we are going to have it from prospect dot date. And then the last one is now the last one will be wait, which will be now prospect prospect dot wait dot wait like that. So and then after that, that means that also we are going to delete that uh, prospect from the database. So I'm going to await uh, here, and then I'm going to do public request. A public request and then we can be able to delete now and then we are deleting from now prospects so from prospect and remember uh, we have the ID so this one I think I'm going to use the back tick so that I can pass in the ID so this one will be prospect prospect like that and then here I can be able to add the ID the prospect ID so prospect ID yeah like that and then after that now I can be able to navigate to well navigate to the admin and then donors so I'm going to use the navigate from react router DOM and be able to now go to the admin and then slash donors like that and then here I can be able to console log uh, console.log and then here display the error or make sure that you console log the error and then format this save that and uh, if I try to approve here you can be able to see that we are redirected here and you can see now we have these three donors here and for the prospect so for the prospect I don't I have only one now only one prospect but for the donors now you can see we have these three donors right here so uh, the other thing that i wanted to to do is that in the admin here i want to show all of this data here for example for the prospect the donors and then for this one for the statistics so let us first of all test and see how the data will come looking like for the statistics so if i come here to the get all donors here i want to go to now add here stats because that is the route that we created to show the statistics so if i click send here you'll be able to see that the information how the information comes like you can see we have count of two uh, a b positive people who has have a b positive and we have only one person who have a negative blood group and you can see now this one is comes as an 
underscore id so if we check in our data here let's go to the admin here for the admin we'll be able to see that for this case if uh, you are a chart we need to show that information you can see that for the label yes we can have uh we don't have the data in our in this part here that represent the label and also we don't have data here that represent the uh, the value so because you can see the value is in the number of people and the value here is underscore id and also for the label here is actually the value here is a uh, count and for the uh, the other part which is label is underscore id so i need to transform this data so what i'm going to do let me come up here so let me just uh, come up here and then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a variable here that is for blood group so i'm going to add here blood group uh, data like that and then like that and then i can say set blood blood group data like that and then we can use i can use now the hook which is used it and then i can be able to use that so i think i have not imported this used it hook so i'm going to import it like that and then now i can be able to use use effect so let me just come down here and then i can use use effect use effect and then i'm going to import it you can see it has already imported and then here i'm going to use the a function actually you understand that use effect accept the function and also the this empty array here for the dependencies so for this one here also i'm going to have the function so for my function here i'm going to call this function get brad uh, brad group brad group uh stats uh, like that and then this one is just a narrow function like that and then i can be able to make sure that i i can call it here down here so let me make sure that i actually i think i need to first of all wrap this in a try catch so here yeah, i can have a actually i uh, can have the try catch here but it's not necessary so i'm going to add it here and then call the get group type starts here like that i can call that function here the other thing is inside here now i can have the try catch here like that and then inside here is where we are going to call our inform our data so for example here we are going to have the a response from our backend so i'm going to have public request i'm going to import it like that and then i'm going to get because this is a get uh method as you can see here in the postman this is a get here this is a just get uh, method so i'm going to get to uh, slash donors and then starts and after that now this will give me an information but information that it will give me it will give me information that looks like this so i need to transform that and so that i can display it in my pie chart so i'm going to create here another uh, variable called transform transformed so this one will be transform data uh, here and then i'm going to take now i'm going to take res dot res dot data like that and then i'm going to map here as i might as i'm transforming so the first thing that i'm going to have in here is a function that is able to transform so let me have the function inside here that will be able to transform so this one will be able to transform um, here the data so i'm going to get now as i my looping through the data i'm going to get the item and also the index so i need to transform right here now 
inside here i'm going to return now the first thing that i'm going to return here is the id and the id will be index so you can see the index here so the other thing is uh, i need to have the value so for the value here is it is equals to item dot count and uh, for the label here for the label will be i can just add here uh for example a broad group type so i'm going to use this uh backtick so i'm going to add here broad group and then here i can be able to add now using interpolation i can add item dot underscore id like that and then i can be able to just show the data using this broad group and then I can be able to pass in now this item.id. So our label now will be like blood group and then the uh, this ID here you can be able to see this is the name of that blood group type and the count here you can see we have assigned it to value which you can be able to see it here as uh, ID there. So after that now and um, I can just add here set now you can say set blood group type our blood group data and then here i can just call in the transformed so the transformed data like that so here i can console log the data the error sorry so console log and then here i can console log the uh, data the error sorry and then for the pie chart i'm going now to push this down and then for the data here let me show you here uh, for the data i'm going to just call now blood group so blood group data like that and when i save that let's see if it will display the information here so let me reload again so yeah it's unable to show the data here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to console log so that we can see the data if the data is being fetched so i'm going to format that then here i can be able to just console.log i'm going to have the blood group data here if i save that and then I make sure that i inspect here so let me inspect here and then come here to console you can see here we don't have any information so let me console come here to the console and uh, if i come up here you can be able to see uh, you can see cannot read properties of undefined map so that means that we don't we are not getting the data from our backend so this is uh, slash donor slash stats so let's see if uh, yeah you can see this is a uh, slash donor slash stats so i don't know where the problem is but also i can be able to first of all make sure that i console log here there's the data so this is debugging so if i save that and then uh able to reload here so you can see this is uh, just an empty an empty array here so let me just go back into my postman and then send this and see if we can get the data yeah, we are still getting the data and i don't know why is not we are not able to get like this data in our front end so this one is slash uh, slash donors here then slash stats and then this is a get request oh actually i know the problem where the problem is and this is because we have not used a sync here because this is a synchronous function and then here i need to use a wait like that so if i do that and then remove this let me come back here and you can see now we have the information and when i click here you can be able to see that now our pie chart here has been added and you can see here you can see if we hover over this interactive pie chart you can see the number of people who have broad group type of a b and also we can see there is a one person who has a blood group of a negative 
So now the other thing that we have been left with, which is to just display the prospect, which is very simple. I will just leave that for you. You are just going to fetch prospect and then for that, because it will be a day, you'll be able to do just prospect dot length and then you get the number of people who are prospect. For the donors, you, you are going to fetch the same. You are going to fetch all the donors and then do and then dot length, you'll be able to get the number of donors that are in the database. So that is very simple. For this one, this is what I wanted to cover mostly. So the other thing is that when you come to the donors here, I think there is somewhere that I wanted to add. Yeah, this one I wanted to make sure that you can be able to update here. For this one, it will be very simple. So here I'm going to cross this prospect here and a new donor. And also I'm going to cross this. And for here, I'm one, I want to go to the actually new donor here this page and because this is the one that we are going to use we are going to use to at least collect the information so here this is handle for this handle change here we are going to copy everything here like that and then we are going to come here to the donors and then paste that here because we are going to to need it right here so that we can be able to collect the information like we did in the for the donors page here so let me open the donors page and then here we are going to collect the information as the same so let me actually i need to be new donor here so where we are going to add a new donor so because we are collecting the information here i'm going to copy this one from the name here and then make sure that i copy this and then i can be able to paste it here so for the donor here i can be able to come now to the name here and make sure that i press that here like that for the address the same so this is just like a copy and paste copy and paste so let me copy this like that and uh, paste it here to the address for the phone number here or the tell you can be able to do the same we are going to get the name here and then add it in part here uh, for the this blood group here for the select also we are going to copy this and then also paste here in the select so this one is so select here like that uh, sorry so i'm going to open here um then for the email we are going to do the same for the name here we have the value and then we have the on change i'm going to copy and paste it here and then i think for the weight the same so this one is the same for the weight so for the weight here, I'm going to copy this name value and then on change. I'm going to do the same here. Let me look for the weight and then paste it here. And then we have for the date here. So copy this date and then on change here. And then I'm going to paste it right here. And then the last one now which is the text area i'm going to copy this this three and then i can be able to paste it here like that and then now for this one i'm going to create a function here so this one is on uh click let me uh, add this event and then here i can add handle update and this will be a very simple thing to do now because any information that will be corrected here we can be able to update so i'm going to add here handle update like that and then if this is a callback a callback function like that here we are going to have a sync and then inside here now we are going to have a try catch so like that we are going to have try catch here we are going to have uh, now 
uh, we can just have a wait and then i'm going to add public request and then this one will be uh, to update so i'm going to use here yeah, it's uh, just put and like that and then because this is donors so we are going to uh, pass in the uh, id so i'm going to go to the donors and then pass in the id so donor id like that and then after that i can pass in now the inputs so we need to uh, send the inputs if there is anything in the input so here i'm going to reload this page so window dot location and then dot reload like that and then here i can be able to console log console dot log and then this is error like that so i think this is very very simple and then now if i save that and come back here let's try and uh, maybe update something like the name here to john uh, let me add here to be john do for example when i click on update here you can see it is reloading and now you can see the name here has changed for the for the uh, wait here i can add for example 79 and when i update this one here you can see the weight has changed also for the for example for this um for the email also the same so you can just uh, update every data that is inside here for the don so i think that is uh, okay now i don't want this video to be longer than this so let's end this video here uh, remember to subscribe to this youtube channel like the video and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so see you in the next video have a great day